Thank you, Madam President. I ask that courtesies of the Senate be extended to my very special guest, Chrissy Sakari, today, who's visiting me from just outside Boston, Massachusetts. Um, this might be, actually, it is the most important courtesy I think I have ever had the opportunity to offer to anyone. As some of you know, or most of you know, I have loved this building from the time that I was an intern in the late 90s over here in the Senate to when I was a legislative aide in the House. And in 1999, as a legislative aide, we had a blood drive in the Capitol. You see the vans that are around from time to time. And I donated blood. I was 26 years old. And at that time, they had something called the Be the Match program to sign up to be a bone marrow donor. Two years later, I was in graduate school in Washington, D.C., and I got a phone call that said, you're a perfect five for five protein match with a little seven-year-old girl in Massachusetts. I went in for additional testing. They do multiple rounds of testing. And there's only about an 8% chance that if you're not a family member that you actually matched anyone, that I ended up being a perfect, a perfect match. So I went in on March 30th of 2001, was put under full general anesthesia, and had an operation where they put a needle into your upper back through your pelvis and draw bone marrow out. And by the time I had woken up from the surgery, my marrow was on an airplane going to a very sick little girl who'd been in quarantine since January 1st of that year and was looking like she wasn't going to survive. Um, I remember getting well uh, from my surgery by walking around underneath the cherry blossoms that year, kind of shuffling along. They tell you to get out and move after surgery. But they don't tell you what happens necessarily. You check a box and it says, if the family would like to contact you, it would be great to know. And two years later, I got a birthday card in the mail, this birthday card right here, from that same little girl. And it was interesting, last night I was up in my attic and rifling around, I have a memory chest, and I have like a little can of ash from when I was seven years old that I had swept off the street when Mount St. Helens exploded. I had a postcard from my grandmother who sent me w wishes when I was off to my freshman year living on the East Coast for school. Uh, and I found two birthday cards. One was from my daughter when she was nine and one from Chrissy. And it wasn't until several years later that I got a message through Facebook that I'm going to read to you today. March 30th, 2013. Hey, I know this is random, <laughs> but today was my 12 years since my bone marrow transplant. Thank you so much for everything and giving me a second chance at life. I think about you all the time, and I'm sorry I never reached out when I was younger. It's hard to know exactly what you did for me and for me to understand it and appreciate it as much as I did when I was older. I just want to thank you so much for it and you have no idea how much of an impact you've had on my life, so thank you. And I messaged her back. Well, hi there. <laughs> you are so welcome, exclamation point. It's so wonderful to hear from you, my B positive blood buddy. I'm so very thankful that you are thriving. I can't imagine the strength you had in approaching this illness 12 years ago. As a dad of four, it warms my heart to see you doing so well. I told your father a couple years ago that next time I'm in Boston with my wife, it'd be great to head out to a Red Sox or a Pats game. So several years went by, and two weeks ago I got this message. Hi, Rob! Exclamation point. I know it's been a long time. I wanted to connect as I found out I'll be traveling for work to Portland this coming February. I know I'll be hoteling somewhere in the downtown area 
and I'll be working at the book depository near Lake Oswego. As I can see, you are a very busy man. I wanted to see if you would have any time between February 17th to the 20th to meet up for dinner and meet in person. It'd be a great honor to meet you and the person who saved my life. I'm very grateful every day, and I have you to thank for that. I hope to talk to you soon. So this morning, I apologize for missing caucus, at 9.52 a.m., standing in that same Capitol Rotunda from when I was 26 years of age, a 26-year-old walked up those steps and gave me a big hug. And um, with that, Madam President, I would ask that the profoundest courtesies and greetings and warm embrace from the Oregon State Senate get extended to my very good friend, Chrissy Sakari, this morning. Chrissy, it's so nice to have you here in the Capitol, and what a beautiful story. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad and thankful for what uh, Senator um, Rob Wagner did also. So welcome. Hopefully you have a good day, and our best wishes to you for all time to come. <laughs> 